Hello, and this is going to be a quick video on uh, how to actually read a really cool free site uh, where you guys can actually watch the weather come in either nationally or you can actually see you can do a regional map there too. But we're going to stick with the national map. Uh, this one is this site's called pivotalweather.com. Uh, it's got some stuff on there about actually seeing. Uh, some ads at the top and ads at the bottom and you can stay away from those but uh, what this basically says is it's got a European and a US uh, model uh, this is the snow depth and I'll show you how I got all these things and this is going to be a liquid equivalent to 10 inches of snow for one inch of rain uh, we can actually have dry snow where this number can go up or it can be wet snow where this number goes down uh, wet snow usually sits around uh, six four to six inches of snow per inch and dry snow can be up to 15 or more but uh, if you take a look at all this stuff um, let's start with the European model uh, first off the European model is not really showing you any surface predictions I like the European because it seems to be more realistic um, but what it can actually show you is what's called the ice attack and wind this is showing you surface winds um, wind always goes from high towards low so we're getting wind moving in that direction but uh, what I'm going to show you today is the GFS and you can actually do GFS and if I go upper level if I go back down to surface or if I go to severe weather uh, you can actually look at these things if you're going to actually find uh, like thunderstorms but I'm more interested in the winter weather and I was under the snow 1 to 10 uh, actually I was in snow depth but the snow depth is the same as 1 through 10. Some of those maps are not visible right now, and I've only found this site uh, as of yesterday with the help of uh, a friend of mine, Alan Ross. And uh, so I actually found Pivotal Weather this way. Um, the way you actually read this, this is 0Z. So this is the current method. This is going to be three hours into the future. And add another three and this is 18 Z so this is 1800 when we actually move over toward uh, the international date line so right now it's five uh, hours away from us uh, but if you just watch this is Sunday's reading uh, for January 3rd and here's the fourth and you can see we're located there's that little box we're located about right here you can see that there's snow uh, the way the snow levels work is uh, we actually have these light colors uh, which you see like right there which is the tenth of an inch of rain and then that equates that to an inch of snow and we go to the blue then we go to the pink and you can see the pink actually are double digits and into oranges which are still double digits but three times the amount of the single double digits and if you see any light colors in there we're actually moving towards these lighter colors so we're getting a lot of snow but if you take a look at us um, this is for Monday three o'clock in the morning so it's actually Sunday at around 10 at night for us here and if we go there and don't see anything and we go here this is actually Wednesday this week and nothing and this is January uh, this is January 6th and we go out there we still see nothing and now we're on Sunday the 18th 240 hours into the future we're Tuesday night midnight uh, which is actually at uh, 7 o'clock at night Monday the 12th so that's a week from tomorrow this is Sunday night and we go to January 12th we don't see anything go 300 hours into the future this is Saturday uh, Friday night, six, uh, 7 o'clock at night, Friday for us, January 15th. And then we go three hours into the future. And if you watch, start seeing this blob that's moving toward us. We get to, uh, this is Sunday, 12 o'clock noon, so real early, uh, 1 o'clock in the morning Sunday. And you actually start seeing snow reach us. This is... Uh, starting Sunday, five seven o'clock at night, Monday Zulu time. Uh, then we actually have twelve o'clock, so this is actually going to be one o'clock in the morning on Monday. And if you take a look at those colors, uh, we're seeing some really nice reds. So we're actually talking twelve to sixteen inches of snow 
again at a ratio of 10 to 1. And you can see some lighter colors. Middle of, uh, looks like middle of Virginia. Uh, it's actually be in the 20 inches of snow. And then pretty much the same thing. If we go to regional, and now I'm just going to focus in here on the end. Uh, looks like we're, we're this county right here, so 19 inches of snow. And again, this is for Tuesday, 12 o'clock noon Zulus. This is 1 o'clock, uh, 12, 7 o'clock Monday night. So if this were actually to hold true, and this is two weeks in the future, it's not realistic. Um, I'll keep watching this stuff and posting it, but you can actually go to Pivotal Weather, pick GFS, pick the winter. Where am I? Uh, pick the winter weather and go to snow depth, pick the GFS. Um, I really hope they can get the European up there because, like I said, it's a lot more realistic. Uh, pick the GFS and watch this. And, you know, three hours from now it should be here, and tomorrow it should be like in here, and then the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And if we start seeing the same thing nine hours into the future, looking at it Saturday, uh, the 17th of January, uh, if it still holds true there, then this is probably real realistic. But for right now, not so much. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Again, this is PivotalWeather.com.